Well, howdy. I am Arthur Morris, and one thing is for sure, I can teach you to make better pictures of birds. I'm here today to share some real-life spoonbill images that I created yesterday with the Sony 300mm f2.8 lens and the amazing Sony A9 III, which I really didn't want to like. Period. How'd that work out? Anyway, you can see all of these were created at ISO 3200 at the aperture of f2.8 at a 3200th of a second. So in low light, I'm able to get away with a fairly reasonable ISO because of the 2.8 aperture. So we'll go full frame and we'll take a quick run through. We hit F in Photo Mechanic and we're looking at the pink series. 38 frames made across two seconds, but comprising much less than a second. And we'll go through them in movie fashion. Almost over in the blink of an eye. And if we go back more slowly, you can actually see what the bird is doing to be in the air. I recently read a great book by the late John K. Terrace explaining flight and seeing this thing run as a movie, even in reverse or in forward, we are amazed by the beauty of birds in flight. Now, thanks to the magic of photo mechanic, we will hide the pinks and unhide the yellows. And here we have a much longer sequence, 114 frames, remarkably all made in the same one second. That was against the odds and a matter of luck, but that's how it worked out with 120 frames per second. So we will go to the slideshow, we will go to full frame, and we will let you enjoy the beauty of this amazing sequence of birds in flight. Oh, Lord. And I probably quit shooting a little bit too soon. Going back to the beginning, taking a little slower look. And when I get to one I really like, I'll give it a red. So here I don't like the bird against the distant trees for the most part. Once he drops below, now we're getting somewhere. Yeah, I think this may be my favorite one. If I give it a red, it's going to disappear. A red is one. Oh, it actually stayed. Great. And another another keeper. And here, oh, geez, love, love. And then the cross wing tips. Yeah, incredible stuff. I should have mentioned earlier that of the 3,046 images I took, there was one series where I missed focus completely. And then there was another long series where a few frames were not sharp on the eye. But otherwise, 3,000 images plus razor sharp on the bird's eye. And you can read my comments on A93 image quality in today's blog post. If you buy one, be sure to use my links, Bedford's or B&H, and write me for my A93.dat file so you can set up your camera exactly as I, as I have mine set up. And that will include a, uh, a buttons and dials guide and a few additional comments. Love you much.